In this video, I'm going to cover my installation of an aftermarket kit, uh, specifically the Sky Designs uh, aileron bell crank, ball bearing aileron bell crank kit. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, uh, the bell crank kit for the ailerons um, is part of the linkage from your control stick that ultimately, through a series of linkages, ends up controlling the ailerons. Uh, basically, it's this thing you see right here. It's this bell crank that sort of pivots back and forth on these hinges or swivels around these hinges. So specifically, what the Sky Designs kit does, it replaces these uh, hinges, which you would get, or these brackets, which you would get from bands. They're made out of steel with these right here. It's a thicker piece of aluminum that has a ball bearing already set in it for you. So you can kind of see it a little bit closer. This is what it looks like. Uh, so basically, um, this kit allows you to put these things on uh, and mount your bell crank to those and it'll pivot a little bit more nicely um, on the bearings rather than the bushing, or at least that's the idea. Um, it's quite possible, maybe even likely, that this is a solution in search of a problem, but as soon as the Sky Designs announced new product, they had me at that, so I bought it. Anyway, the steps you need to go through in order to uh, uh, install this are, I just showed you the one on the uh, right wing, or excuse me, the left wing, I already have that installed. I'm gonna go through the installation on the right wing. Basically, it's going to involve you putting this on, as well as the bottom hinge, which in the right wing is a little bit longer and beefier. It's made to accept a, um, uh, a servo motor for your autopilot. Um, so basically the steps you need to go through, it's pretty actually pretty straightforward. The first thing you do is you just bolt these things to the main spar on the wings. Um, I did that not knowing I was gonna have to take them off, but you are, so I uh, uh, marked them up with some of that orange goop. Um, anyway, you put those on, and then with your calipers, you measure the distance between the hinges. Uh, after you measure the distance between the hinges, you need to measure the distance of, or the length of your pivot tube on the bell crank. Um, then what you do is you subtract a quarter of inch from the distance from the hinges, from the hinges, and then you grind down the ends of your bell crank so it's equal to that. So for example, if the distance between the hinges was five inches, it wasn't, but if it was five inches, then you wanna grind this down to the distance on this pivot tube to about 4.75 inches. So I just basically after I took the measurements and figured out how much I needed to take off this, I took this over to a sander and ground it to size, basically. Uh, Normally I don't use sandpaper on steel, the same sandpaper I use in my aluminum parts, but that sandpaper you see is about to replace it, and so I ended up replacing it after doing this. I don't grind too much with steel. Anyway, after you do that, you need to kind of, I used a, um, a Dremel with a grinding wheel to kind of chamfer these and kind of smooth it back out, uh, and so you can kind of accept these bushings that need to go in there. Um, and then I primed the inside of it as well as I primed these bushings. So once you have that done, you need to remove these uh, hinges or these brackets that you have on the rear spar. And then basically what you do is you take your bell crank right here, you put one of these suckers in it. Um, you get this bolt, put it through. The other side, you again put one of these things in there. Uh, then put this on there like that. And once you have this assembled, you screw the bolt on or the nut on, you torque it down to spec, which I think for these number four bolts is between 50 to 70 inch pounds. And then you uh, just attach this to your rear spar and you're ready to go. So really, that's it. Uh, basically, this kit allows you to have these really nice ball bearings instead of bushings, which are just gonna get jammed up and you'll never be able to turn your airplane. Okay, maybe not, um, but they look really nice. It'll win you a lot of friends, it'll get you chicks. So 
that's it. So as you can see, I've got the one on the right wing installed. It kind of wiggles back and forth, and ta-da, that's almost a Saturday's worth of work. Okay, maybe it wasn't a full Saturday's worth of work, but I did it on a Saturday. Anyway, that's it for this kit. Um, super easy installation. You can actually, if you already have one of these planes flying, it's pretty easy to install it on a, a plane that you already, already have going. Um, and uh, pretty straightforward. Anyway, that's it for this video.